Hi there, plants lovers. It's so good to see you here again. My name is Tessa, and today we are diving into a very interesting topic. As plants parents, we are all familiar with making a nice soil mix for our plants to thrive in. But what if some plants can be just as happy and healthy by simply providing them with water instead of soil? Today, we are discussing the ins and outs of hydroponics. Hydroponic is a technique for cultivating plants using water with added nutrients. Sometimes additional substrates such as hydrograins, perlite or pawn are also added to secure the plant in a pot. In this video, I will tell you more about the benefits of hydroponics and how to grow your own plant using this technique. Let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at the benefits of growing your plants in water instead of soil. The first benefit is that plants require less care when they grow in water. Since they are growing directly in water with added nutrients, the plants can soak up as much water as they need. You will only have to refresh the water once every month rather than water your plants once or twice a week. That leaves more time for you to sit back, relax and enjoy your beautiful plants. Moreover, you can say goodbye to fungus gnats pestering your plants. Fungus gnats lay their eggs inside the soil, so when you remove the soil, the fungus gnats have nowhere left to go. Moldy soils and mildew are also history when switching your plants over to hydroponics. Lastly, Soil spills from repotting your plant are no more once your plants are comfortably floating in water. Of course, you might still spill some water or substrate when working with hydroponics, but all in all, you have less of a mess that is also easier to clean up. The first step in starting with hydroponics is finding a suitable plant that is able to grow in water. Generally, almost any plant is capable of growing in water. However, some plants are more suitable for it and are more likely to thrive in hydroponics. These plants include all species of Philodendron, Monstera, Peace Lily, Skindopsis, Monitu, Spider Plant and Epipendum. In other words, there is plenty to choose from. When using a plant that is currently growing in soil, you will have to rinse the roots thoroughly before switching it to hydroponics. This is because any leftover soil can cause root rot or mold, which, of course, is something we want to prevent. If you have a rough time cleaning the roots, then you can use hydrogen peroxide to help you on your way. The cleaned roots should be close to a white color. Any mushy or dark parts can indicate root rot and it is advised to remove these parts so the plant can grow new, healthy roots instead. For your water, there are a few options to choose from. The easiest option is to use tap water from your faucet. It is cheap and easily accessible. However, tap water contains a lot of minerals and other components that aren't always the best choice for your plant. Over time, these minerals will build up inside your plant and can cause problems. As such, we recommend letting your tap water sit for at least 48 hours before giving it to your plants or using it as a hydroponic substrate. The minerals and substances will sink to the bottom, after which you can throw out the last bit of water. Alternatively, you can also filter your tap water to make it safe to use for your green friends. Lastly, you can buy bottles of filtered or distilled water, although this is of course more expensive. In the end, you should choose the option that works the best for you. Next up are nutrients. Most nutrient packages are built around the thought of your plants growing in soil. As you can imagine, growing your plants solely in water requires a different composition of nutrients to be added. If you are using filtered or distilled tap water, the water will lack magnesium and calcium. As such, you will have to look for a nutrition package that also includes these two components. Moreover, your nutrients should contain nitrogen, which promotes foliage growth, phosphorus, which promotes a strong root system, and potassium, which promotes overall growth. These three are the main substances to look for when growing your plants in water. For semi-hydroponics, which means using water with a substrate, there are also other substances that will keep your plant healthy. One example is probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria. These bacteria improve the overall environment for the roots and improve plant growth, which makes the transition from soil to hydroponics easier on the plant. If all this talk about nutrients and components is getting a little confusing, then please remember the following. Always check the label of a nutrient package to see if it is suitable for hydroponics. If the label doesn't mention anything about hydroponics at all, then it is not suitable, of course. If the label does mention that it is suitable, you can safely use it. 
All right, now that you've learned more about what type of water to use and what nutrients you'll need, it is time to grow a plant using hydroponics. To get started, you will need the following. A nursery pot with holes at the bottom, an outer pot that is water resistant, a suitable plant with cleaned roots, substrates such as palm, perlite or hydrogranes, filtered or distilled water, nutrients and a watering can. First, we take our nursery pot and put a layer of substrate at the bottom. Then we take our plant and hold it in place at the desired height. Next, we fill up the pot with more substrate while carefully shaking. This helps to fill up all the air pockets with substrate to secure the plant. Now we can place this pot inside the outer pot. We chose a pot made from recycled plastic, which will hold water well and is also a sustainable choice. Lastly, we add our nutrients and fill up the pot with water. There, now the plant is ready to grow. And that's it for this video. I hope you now feel ready to try out hydroponics or have found answers to any questions you might have had. If you still have any questions, however, then please feel free to drop them down below or reach out to us on Instagram. Oh, and if you are growing your plants on hydroponics, then don't forget to tag us with the hashtag plants so we can see them. Otherwise, I wish you a wonderful day and we would love to see you again in our next video.